Welcome to Sew Very Easy. My name is Laura and shopping for fabric is a lot of fun. And shopping for fabric with a bag that's made to shop for fabric or we can shop for fabric before we make the bag in order to make the bag is always a lot of fun. The fabric is from Northcott and it's called Material Girl. And I've chosen three from that lineup. The light scissors, the dark fabric with scissors and some sewing notions, and of course, a sewing machine. And the third fabric is this great fabric with tape measures on it. These three fabrics I'm going to turn into this tote bag. The pattern is also from Northcott, and I'll put a link in the description to the free pattern. We need three fabrics for this pattern. The outside of the bag, the inside or the lining of the bag, and the trim. For this trim fabric, I'm going to use the measuring tapes. Outside of the bag will be that darker fabric, and the inside of the bag is going to look really sharp with this fabric. The pattern does give us the cutting directions and the fabric measurements. And all of these fabrics can be cut from the width of fabric. But to cut the tape measures, I'm going to do it a different way. I can cut that fabric from selvage to selvage, so I have the width of fabric. But I really want the tape measures to run along the top of the bag, so I'm going to cut my pieces from that length of fabric, not from the width. So I'm going to open that up and have those two selvages touching each other. Now when I go to cut it, I'm going to get those long tape measures. So the tape measures are going to run across the bag and around that handle. The first thing that we get to work on is to put the trim onto the bag fronts and that lining. So we're going to attach this little piece onto that bag front and the inside lining. Match right sides together and stitch those bands on both pieces. And use a quarter inch seam allowance. The front of this bag will need some fusible fleece. So we have two pieces of fusible fleece, 17 inches by 21 inches. So we have that glue on one side and the fleece on the other. We need to fuse these layers together for both of the front pieces. Be sure to use the pressing directions that come with your fusible fleece. Once the fleece has been put onto the bag fronts, we need to put interfacing onto the bag backs. If you'd like, you can do a little bit of quilting on these bag fronts. The lining of the bag is going to need a lining on it. So on the wrong sides, we need to put a fusible interfacing. If you have a heavy one or a stiff one, it's a great one to use. But I only have a lightweight interfacing, so I will fuse on one layer, and when that's put on, I will fuse on a second layer. And that's going to make the bags a little bit more sturdy. So if your interfacing is a little heavier, you only need one layer. I will be using two. So I have the two layers of the lightweight fusible interfacing done on both the linings of the bag. And for the front, I did do just a little simple quilting. From here, we need to make sure all four of these pieces, the two fronts and the two linings are the same. So if we need to make them a little bit shorter, that's fine. They just need to be all the same size. Once all four pieces are the same size, we're going to be able to add pockets. And the pockets are going to go on the lining. The pattern reads that we're going to put interfacing on half a piece, iron it on, then we're going to fold these pieces together, stitch around, leave a little bit of an opening, and pull it right side out. From there, we're going to be able to take this pocket and stitch it onto the lining. So we're going to have two pockets, one on each side. There is another way we can do the pockets. I want to turn these pockets into one large pocket on one side. So I have two pieces of fabric cut nine inches by that 21 inches. I'm going to turn these two pieces into one pocket. Place right sides together and because I used a lightweight interfacing, I'm going to interface both sides. This is just going to make the pockets stronger. 
I need to do a quarter inch seam allowance and I will only need to do it on one side. So whatever you choose the top is going to be is where that quarter inch seam allowance is going to be. Once that quarter inch seam is done along the top, we can press this so both right sides are showing. Make sure both of those seams are up at the top and do one row of top stitch right along that top. With that row of top stitching done, I have both sides that are good. So I've taken those two pieces. Instead of making two pockets, I'm going to make one very large pocket. And I'm going to be able to sew this pocket onto this lining. So this part is not part of the directions, but it's just another way of doing a pocket. Measure up from the bottom three inches. We're just going to put the ruler on that three inch mark. I already have this pocket at 21 inches, so I know it's going to fit that width. Take that raw edge and match it right up along the ruler edge and slide out that ruler. So this raw edge is now three inches from that bottom. Pin these edges together and stitch a quarter inch. Once we have that stitched, we're going to be able to pull that pocket up. And then we can sew some lines to make pockets. And this is really a personal size as to what you want. I personally just like to divide this in three. and That's going to be my pocket size. So we can stitch right up the top, do a little bit of back stitching just to secure that down. And while you're at the machine, stitch down those sides. And that way we don't have anything flapping as we're sewing all of the bag together. The lining pieces with the pockets are ready and our two front pieces are ready. We can put these aside and make the handles. For the handle, we have that one strip, five and a half inches, the width of the fabric. This eventually will be cut in half and we'll be making two handles. But we do need to reinforce and stabilize the handles. And that way they can hold any weight that we're going to put in the bag. Fuse that interfacing on the back, lining up one edge, which means we're going to have a quarter inch seam. That quarter inch we get to press over. From here we're going to divide the rest into three. It's going to go over once, then the third time it's going to come over and match right up along that edge. By having that quarter inch go over, it's going to give us a nice finish right along this edge. Press those edges so they're matching and do a row of top stitching on each side. We can divide this handle in half and trim it so we will have two handles the same size. Keep in mind that the longer the handle is, the longer the bag is going to be. So if you like a short handle, cut it down a little bit. I will be cutting my handles so they're 16 inches long. This is all we're going to need to assemble the bag. The lining with the pockets, two outside pieces, and in my case I did do a little bit of quilting, and my two handles. The bags have square bottoms, so we need to trim off two and a half inches. These corners will make the side of the bag and the bottom of the bag. Let's sew on the handles. And this handle is going to be stitched on six inches from the corner. So we can use a six inch ruler, take that one edge, line it up and pin that handle in place. Measure over the second side six inches. The handle goes straight and comes over. So this straight edge is always going to stay on the top. Six inches over and pin that handle on. You need to do this to both the fronts. And stitch about an eighth of an inch just to hold them in place and that way we can remove those pins. With those handles on, we're going to be able to attach the linings. The linings are the same size. Match the right sides and stitch the top of the bag so we're going to stitch over those handles a quarter inch right along that top. We can open them up and match both sides together. So we're going to have the two linings touching and the two fronts. Those pieces are going to match together. Stitch along the bottom and along the two sides. And for the lining side, stitch a little bit on one side, about two or three inches, a 
and a little bit on the other side, about two or three inches. So we're going to have a little bit of an opening here. These notches need to be stitched together in order to make that bottom of the bag flat and a side. We need to match up the side seam and the bottom seam. These seams are going to come together. So place your fingers right here in the corner and pull. And you can see how the side seam and the bottom are going to want to match up. And that's what we're looking for. So pull that edge and match up the seams. I do like to have the seams going in opposite directions just so they'll nestle together. We're going to be able to stitch a quarter inch right along this edge. So we have that opening, it's going to close, and that is where we're going to stitch to seal that up. We need to do this treatment to all four corners. We now have this really funny shape. We still have this opening. We're going to be able to pull this bag right side out. We still have that funny shape with those four corners and the linings are together, and the front of the bag are together. We need to close off this little opening. Fold in a quarter inch on both of those edges. You can hand stitch or machine stitch this edge closed. And when that's done, we're going to be able to put the lining inside that bag. Match up the top of those edges and do a top stitch all the way around the bag. Stitch about a quarter inch coming down from that top. With that top stitching done, that bag is complete. And the bag lining does have our pockets. So really, we could use this bag on the reverse side. So it could be done both ways. I like my pockets inside, so I will be using it the darker side out. To keep that bottom straight, we can add a little piece of cardboard or a card plastic inside. In the directions, they did have us cut a bag bottom. Match those pieces right side and stitch around three sides at a quarter of an inch. Turn that strip right side out. We need something heavy like a heavy cardboard or plastic. It's going to be four and a half inches by 14 and a half inches and it's going to fit right inside this little pocket. Slide that in and there's lots of room here to fold this over and tuck it inside. You can hand stitch it or just leave it so if you need to take that out and wash it, you can. This piece is now going to just slide into the bottom of the bag. Push that down and that's going to help keep that bag upright. And our bag is now done. I'll put a link in the description to the free pattern. That way you can print it out before you go shopping for fabric because we're going to have to shop for fabric to make the bag in order to shop for fabric. No matter which way we look at it, shopping for fabric is always a lot of fun. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.